the V tube here, one side is closed and the other side is open. Hmm. So remember, I talked about in the simulation, the left side must equal to the right side. The liquid's not moving, means the pressure on the left part of the tube equals to the pressure on the right part. Uh, but what does that mean exactly? Let's clarify a bit. So at this level, this is where different things happen because suddenly there's gas and the other side there's extra height of water. Means at this point, the pressure here because of that gas should be the same as the pressure on the other side because of the gas and the air and everything else. So how I can write it out is pressure on the left should be equal to the pressure on the right at that level, that dotted line level. Because, well, if you if you want to consider the whole thing all the way to the bottom, here the pressure will definitely be the same because it's same water, ma. same heights are more. So we want to care what's different. So what's different is above this line, different things happen. Pressure on the left. Did they tell us what's the pressure of the gas? No, we're trying to find that. Okay, so we're trying to find what is this P? Mm, okay, so on the left side, I have the pressure of the gas. I don't know what that is. I'll just say P gas. Anything else on the left? It's a closed tube, so it's just isolated, it's just pressure of the gas, nothing else there. On the right side, we have pressure at this point from this whole column of water, vertically. So you need to remember, mm, hydrostatic pressure, P is rho G H. Okay, so you must write that down. The density of water times G times that height, which is 5 meters. Okay, any other pressure to add? Ah, don't forget. This N is an open tube. Which means there is also the entire atmospheric pressure pressing down on it. And they give it to us too. See here, atmospheric pressure. Okay, so open tubes, we need to take that into consideration as well. Because, you know, the air has some pressure pressing down. So we need to add water pressure is there, atmospheric pressure. So I'll just write here P A T M. So we plug in all the values, density of water, thousand, G, nine point eight one, five, plus the whole atmospheric pressure. So one eh, what am I writing? One point zero. One times ten to the ten to the five Pascal. Pascal. Okay. Add all together. So 1,000 times 9.81 times 5 plus 1 times 10 to the 5. You should get about 149.14905.0 Pascals. The unit of this pressure is Pascal. So if we run out to the answer, oh, it's all 2 SF. So it'll be 1.5 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 to the 5 Pascal. So this one is the answer for this V tube.